as a student of IITs, you have this opportunity to do your master thesis work in Germany. So you can apply for this DAD scholarship that funds your master thesis work at uh, at one of the TU9 universities in Germany. So we have IITs in India. And similarly, we have TU9 universities in Germany. So they are really considered as a prestigious group yes, of yes. universities in, in, in Germany. So they have this signed consortium under this DAD scholarship that, that students from IIT can come to these TU to do their master thesis work. And I thought this is a nice opportunity. So then um, I applied for the scholarship. So first of all, you need to find a professor who can supervise you. So if you apply for this DAD scholarship, you need to have two professors. One professor who is in India, who is your uh, thesis supervisor from IIT, and one professor who is in Germany. So okay. then you start emailing the professors, you choose your topic, then you choose which professor would be suitable for you. So you do kind of research. And after you have a professor who is ready to supervise you, you can then apply for DAD scholarship. Okay. And then there is the selection process if you get selected. And so you have to send some documents to DAD scholarships like your transcripts and then the signed agreement letter from both the professors, you know, some paperwork. And after that, you get the results if you are selected or not. And if selected, then yeah, then you get the seven months to come to one of the TUs in Germany and get your master's thesis done. So that scholarship is basically for only master's student or is it for PhD uh, students also? So it is for master's students to do their thesis work and okay. only students from IITs. Uh, this okay. is the master thing. And for PhD, you, you have also a DAD scholarship. Uh, you okay. can apply for it. So it's a long process. It's a one year long process. You, you, your application deadline would be around October 20 this year for okay. the PhD starting next year in October. Master's degree is uh, converted or uh, to PhD or uh, you need to separately go through that process or something like that? Uh, yes, I had to separately go through the process if I want to do my PhD. So, so for me, it was like I came here during the time I was doing my master's. I came here in 2018, did okay. my master's thesis okay. work, went back to IIT Kanpur, gave my thesis okay. defense. And luckily, I got the PhD position in the same research group where I did my master's. So okay. for me, it was really easy. I just went back to India, gave my master's thesis defense, got my degree. And then I applied separately here in this university again, like filled all the okay. documents, etc. as a normal application. And um, yeah, then I came here to start my PhD. So, okay. so even though I came here to do my master thesis work, the degree was completely from IIT Khan. Yeah. So it was just an exchange. Okay. So what are the uh, benefits uh, where you get in uh, that scholarship? Will you, is it related to something funding or something else? I mean, the first benefit for me was I was getting paid for doing my master thesis. That's amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just get paid for your own thesis. So that's the best thing that you can have, right? So, of course, so they pay an uh, amount of 850 euros per month. So okay. the first main benefit was compared to the stipend that you would have been getting in India at IITs, it's around 12,500 per month. And compared yes. to that, you come here and you get 860 800. or 850 yeah. euros per month. That's itself is great. And uh, apart from that, you get to experience a new country, new culture, new yes. language, etc. Like you really grow a lot. So that was the first benefit for me as, as a master student who got this DAD scholarship. As a PhD, I would say if you apply for DAD scholarship, you have a higher chances of getting a PhD because because then you go to a professor, you approach a professor for a PhD position and say, hey, I have my own funding, just accept me. So professor doesn't have to give you funding anymore. So he or she doesn't have to care about your funding. So if you come with your own funding, there are high chances that you get selected. So this is the benefit of applying to DAD uh, scholarship for doing a PhD, I would say. Uh, so basically, first we need to apply for DAD scholarship, then get the uh, scholarship confirmed. Then we can uh, we can approach uh, different uh, professors and all. Uh, uh, is it the uh, no. No, no. Uh, so you have to first find a professor who is ready to supervise you in both the okay. cases. Either you apply for DAD funding in master's or you apply for DAD funding for PhD. The first step always is to find a professor who is ready to supervise you. Once you have a professor who is ready to supervise you, then you apply for funding. 
and for phd dad uh, application there is another thing that they invite you in dad head office in delhi uh, for an interview so there would be an interview and okay. in which you have professors from iit you have professors from germany and then they interview you and they ask you about your research proposal like what would you do there in germany is your research proposal sounds good or not so based on the interview also then they they choose um if they would like to give dad funding or not so it's it's kind of competitive i would say it's yeah yeah, 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 yeah a yeah, bit yeah, competitive yeah, yeah.